We students in the Elbow Unified School District are being empowered to help create a positive and safe school environment. We are a diverse group of students who believe no one should be made to feel left out or bullied at any point, particularly while at school. There are times, unfortunately, when students make poor choices. In the following video, you will see student activists teaching other students how to handle the situations. In no way are the students who portray bullies in the video are actually bullies. Let's take a look. elementary students are kind, safe, and responsible. But sometimes, students do run into problems at our school. Today, we are going to teach you how to use stop, walk, and talk. Hey Alyssa, you're on level 12? I'm on level 97. You suck. Hey Taylor, she's on level 12. Hey, you're embarrassing me. I bet you're feeling pretty embarrassed right now. How would you like to learn to solve this problem? Yeah. This would be a good time to use stop, walk, and talk. First, put your hand out and in a forceful way, say stop. Stop. Not like that, in a forceful way. Stop. Perfect. Now the next time this happens, remember to use stop, walk, and talk. Hey Alyssa, you're still on level 12. I upgraded. I'm on level 100. Hey Taylor, she's still on level 12. Stop. I don't like it when you say that. Wait, can you explain the game to me one more time? Gosh, she is so lame. How many times do we have to tell you? Ridiculous. In fact, everything you do just bugs me. I bet you feel hurt right now. Yeah, I feel pretty bad and embarrassed. This would be a good time to use stop, walk, and talk. Tell this person to stop. Stop. Not like that, in a forceful way. Stop. Gosh, there she goes again. What if it doesn't work? If it doesn't work, then walk away and sit by someone else. You don't need to be near someone that makes you feel like this. Also, it gives the bully no one to bother. OK, I'll try that next time. Wait, can you explain the game to me one more time? Gosh, she is so lame. How many times do we have to tell you? Ridiculous. In fact, everything you do just bugs me. Stop! I don't need to listen to you. I don't need to be by this. I wasn't even doing anything. Can I play with you guys? Sure. You do. When someone tells you to stop, don't disagree. Stop what you're doing, take a deep breath, and be on your way. Sometimes, even after you have told the student who is annoying you to stop and you have tried walking away, they continue to bother you. What are you supposed to do? I didn't do it. Stop! Why would I even want to touch you? You have cooties! Stop! I don't need to listen to you! Come on, let's go somewhere else. We don't need to be by someone like that. Why are you guys running away? You guys are dorks. Stop! stop. We've, We've told, told her to stop. stop. We've, We've tried walking away. away. Now what do we do? If you have told the person who is bothering you to stop and you have tried walking away, then you should go tell an adult. Remember, the adult will ask you if you have asked the student to stop and if you have tried walking away. I didn't do it. Stop. Why would I even want to touch you? You have cooties. Stop. I don't need to listen to you. Come on, let's go somewhere else. We don't need to be by someone who's like that. Why are you guys running away? You guys are losers. Stop! Stop. Yes? Taylor, Taylor keeps, keeps bothering us. us. Did you tell her to stop? Yes. yes. Did you try to walk away? Yes. yes. Let's go talk to her. The only time you should go directly to an adult is if you or someone else is in danger of being hurt. So the next time someone is bothering you, you must first ask them to stop. If they do not stop, then you should try and walk away. If those two steps don't work, then you can go tell them you're adult.
Remember, before you can talk to staff, you must have said stop and try to walk away. Running to staff before you have tried to solve the problem yourself might be seen as tattling. Tattling is when you're trying to get someone else in trouble. Let's see an example of this. Oh, you did that on purpose. I'm telling. Teacher? Yes? Alyssa looked into me. Now, did you tell her to stop? No. Please go back and tell her to be more careful. Okay. Alyssa, can you please be more careful? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. If you see someone being bothered, you can be a friend by being an upstander. Help the person who is being bothered to leave the situation. By helping the person to leave, you are helping the problem behavior to stop. Stop! Stop! Come on, let's go sit somewhere else. We don't need to sit by someone who is bothering you. Ugh, whatever. I don't need to sit by you nerds. Remember, if you see someone being bothered, be an upstander and help the person leave the situation. So the next time someone is bothering you, remember to use the three steps. Stop, walk, and talk.